a show I have now been on three times. Maybe the third time's a charm. Let's play Pointless Celebrities. Weeknights at 7 on Challenge. Hungry to test your general knowledge? Feeding your appetite for game shows. Spam Brand sponsors Challenge TV. We're off! It's Britain's brightest game show! It's the price is right! Here we go! It's time to meet the stars of the show! Seamus Phelan! Come on down! Contestants who are going to play The Price is Right But there'd be no show without Joe It's Joe Pasquale Welcome to the Price is Right. Hello, Seamus. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Uh, where are you from, Seamus? North London. From North London. And what do you do for a living, Seamus? I work in my mum and dad's bar, a pub. Uh, what's a pub called, mate? Mother Red Cat. The Mother Red Cat. That sounds like a right leery place. Nice to meet you, Seamus. And you've got to calm down a little bit. You're going over the top. I can see it. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Hiya. Where are you from, lovely? Bolton. From Bolton. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you do for a living, Joe? Um, payroll. Payroll. Bolton Education. Oh, but you don't nick the stuff. I thought you might have been first. OK, nice to meet you. Did you have a good day? Okay. And David, beefy, chunky David. Yeah, How are you, David? Yeah. Yeah. You look a bit like Patrick Swayze when he's gone to seed a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, sorry, David, I will. Don't nick me, though. I've got a bad stomach trouble. No guts. And where are you from, David? Bradford. From yeah. Bradford, yeah! I like those chairs, it's a very kinky as well, Dave. Nice to meet you, mate. Have a good day. Yeah, I right, leave it. It's tea time, love. Nice to meet you, Dave. And um, we've got Mandy as well. Hello, Mandy. You all right, love? Was it Mandy Alcock? Yeah. And what do you do for... Right, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Are you making your own jokes up there? And what do you do for a living, Mandy? I'm a student midwife. Oh, midwife! <laughs> That's a great name for a midwife, then, isn't it? Okay. And where are you from, Mandy? Stoke-on-Trent. Stoke-on-Trent. OK, darling, have a good day. Enjoy yourselves, everybody. Shameless, you've really got to calm down a little bit, OK? <laughs> That's all right. Everybody, enjoy yourself, because one of you lucky people is going to win this. It's a designer necklace with matching bracelet. <laughs> These ethnic items are as cool as they are contemporary. Set the room alight with these imposing yet exquisite trinkets. Oh, nice bit of jewelry there. OK, who's ever think gets the closest the actual price of that jewelry without going over the top is taking that home. Seamus, you're to go first. I'll give you a clue. It's over £200. What's your bid on the jewelry? 260 OK, mate. Joe, what's your bid, darling? 320 320 from Joe. Dave, what do you think, mate? £299. £299 from David. Mandy, what do you think, sweetheart? 280 from Mandy. The actual price. Ah, that noise means that somebody's guessed the price of that accurately. The actual price of the jewellery is £320. Go, Julia! Go, go, go. Go, go. Go. Right, come stand this side of me, love. Come stand there, you OK? Yeah, I'm fine, Well done, you. congratulations, you won the jewellery. And you're from Bolton, is that right? That's correct. And because yeah. you guessed the price of that jewellery on the nose, you won £100 cash already. That's for you, darling. Yeah. Yeah. And you do payroll for, what did you say it was for? Payroll for? Bolton Education. Bolton Education. Who have you got here with you, darling? Friends from the Bear Mart. Yeah, all oh, nice. In Bolton, my husband to be. Husband to be. Oh, are you? Husband to be. What's his name? <laughs> it's Michael. Michael. And when are you and Michael getting married then? Next Sunday. Oh, next Sunday. Oh, congratulations, <laughs> darling. Okay. So you get some nice prizes then. Okay. How would you like to win both of these? Take these back to Bolton. Look at these, Joe. 
It's a micro hi-fi and a pair of designer cordless phones. This micro hi-fi with digital radio carries a powerful 40 watts output and MP3 CD playback. So why not take your CDs for a spin of a lifetime? We know you're already engaged, Joe, but you soon will be in more ways than one with these classy telephones. Featuring the latest in digital hardware, these handy, top-of-the-range cordless beauties mean you'll never miss a call again. Oh, nice. Thank you both very much, Joe. Right, what we're going to do is we'll play a game called Joe's Bargain Bar. The reason this is called Joe's Bargain Bar is because that CD unit there, the Hi-Fi, is priced at £330, and the telephones are priced at £380. They are not the actual prices, they are the bargain prices. So in both those items, you have to tell me what you think is the biggest bargain there. Which one of those items is at the biggest bargain price? What do you think, Joe? Have a think about this. Ask it, Michael, if you want to. What are you saying, Joe? Phones. You're going for the phones? Phones, yeah. Right, you're saying the phones. Let's have a look at the price of the hi-fi unit first, then. The hi-fi unit is £380, making a difference of £50. If there's more than a difference of £50 on the phones, you're taking those home. Now, how much are the phones? Let's have a look at the phones. <laughs> 580 Well done, Joe. Okay. That's a thousand quid already so far, yeah. you've got. <laughs> and it's not the end of the show. We'll see you in the second half of the show, Kate. So don't go. Drive the girls, so look after you. Please, so that's one winner already. Who's up next? Lee Humberstone. Come on down. Hello. How are you, mate? Very well, thank you. Lee Humberstone. Where are you from, Lee? Stansted in Essex. Stansted in Essex, yeah. You <laughs> sound, yeah. <laughs> Just me and you, by the sounds of things. Yeah. Lee. Well done, mate. What do you do for a living, Lee? Financial solutions. Ah, financial solutions in Essex. You're going to need a few of them there, then, mate. <laughs> OK, Lee. Nice to meet you, mate. And how would you like to win this? Look at this, Lee. It's a five megapixel digital camera and state of the art printer. Yes, everything you need in one neat package to produce great photos. Boasting a 1.5 inch screen with optical and digital zoom, it's time to get snap happy. Nice camera, Lee. What do you think the price of that camera is, Lee? 160. 160 from Lee, Dave. 149. 149 from David. Thank you. Seamus, the actual price of the camera is £130. Mandy! Yeah, Mandy! Hey. Yeah, Mandy. Well done, mate. I'm going to show you this game. Mandy, you're from Stoke on Trent. Yes. And you're a trainee midwife. Yes. And a student midwife. Have you got any other students up there yeah, with any all friends? Yeah, all and uh, whereabouts, what hospital are you training at then, love? Uh, North Staff's Maternity Hospital. Ah, right, you're Stoke-on-Trent, yeah, is that? I'd say, all right, darling. Well, see if you can take this lovely prize back to Stoke-on-Trent. How would you like to win this, Mandy? Look at this, love. It's a meaty motorbike! <laughs> How about roaring away in real rock and roll style on this super sport bike? This powerful four-stroke 125cc Roadster features a step seat, dual headlights, an electronic instrument panel, and is a real monster. <laughs> so in that motorbike, Mandy, we're going to play a game called On the Nose. As you can see, there's a cardboard cutout supposed to be me. It looks more like Jackie Chan, if you ask me. <laughs> and the idea of the game is you've got to pop that balloon on my nose using a plain dart. Now, how many darts you get depends on how much you know about the price of that motorcycle. We have three options there. We have 2,549, 3,049, 3,549. If you actually guess the price of that motorcycle on the nose, you get three darts. If you get furthest away from the actual price, you get one dart. If you get the closest but not actually been on the nose, then you actually get two darts. So in your own time, tell me what you think the price of that motorcycle is. We find out how many darts you're going to get. What do you think? What do the girls say up there? The middle one, 3,049. That's you. 2,549. 2,549. If it is, you'll be getting three darts. If you like, if it's on the nose, let's have a look, Richard. How much is it, mate? Let's have a look. Three darts! Yes, sir. Three darts. Let's have a look at the others, Richard. 
Yes, the two. And there's the one. Okay, I'll get the three darts for you. Well done, Mandy. Now, to show you how easy or how difficult this is going to be, I have my psychic twin brother, Reynard, to demonstrate it for you. Go on, out you go. Hold it! Hold it! Stop, you spatula. Stop it. Stop it! Stop it. Use a proper dart. And you lost the end of your dart there. Look at it. See what you've done, you div? Look at it. Give me that to look after. Let you look after. Have you got any advice for Mandy before she does it? Uh, yes, I have some advice, Joe. Um, if you, if you want to keep monkeys out your bedroom, hide your bananas in the kitchen. <laughs> Just put the dart. Sorry, Mandy, he's a spatula. OK. Yeah. yeah, that's close enough. Just get off your dick. Mandy, you're up, love. One dart to start off with. Get on, the, get on the mark there. Now, concentrate on this, man. Imagine I'm here, get it right on my nose. I've not waited till I've moved, obviously, right? <laughs> you want to get it on there, you've got three darts, but take your time with it, love. In your own time, man. <laughs> take your time. Slower, love, slower. Ready? Aim it and slow down, slow down. <laughs> OK, ready? Take your time, slow down. Slow down, man. Well done. Congratulations, Mandy. Well done. We'll just see you in the second half of the showcase show, Dan. And we'll see you after Break of Drill. Well done, man. Give me a kiss. Well done. Welcome back to The Price is Right. Peter, we need a new player. Who are we going to meet, Pete? Audrey McElmann. Come on down. Mickleman, how are you, darling? All right, thank you. Where are you from, Audrey Mickleman? Manchester. <laughs> from Manchester. Audrey, what do you do for a living, darling? Contract cleaner. A contract cleaner. Self-employed, so you can take the day off whenever you like, really, exactly. can't you? Hmm, nice to meet you, Audrey <laughs> Mickleman. OK, Audrey. Uh, Audrey, how much do you think this telly's worth, love? It's a 28-inch pure flat widescreen digital television with integrated Freeview tuner, also featuring NICAM stereo and 20 watt power output. You'll soon be tuning in to The Price Is Right. Oh, nice telly there! Yeah. What do you think, Audrey? Three hundred. Three hundred, Audrey. Okay, Audrey. Shameless. What do you think, mate? Five fifty. Five fifty. 550 from Seamus. Lee, what do you think, mate? 400. 400 from Lee. David? 239. 239 from David. The actual price of that television is £399. That's Audrey, you're in love. Audrey. Okay. Okay. Well done, Audrey. Okay. You all right? Yeah, thank well you. Well done. You want that television already? That telly's yours. A nice big telly to take home. And... You're a contract cleaner, and yep. what, how do you say your surname then? McKillman. McKillman, that's a million miles from what I was saying, isn't it? Hmm. it OK, and who have you come with today, then, darling? Husband Michael. Husband Michael, his name's McKillman. McKillman. Well, <laughs> OK, and who else? Mum, just... Dad. Uh, are they McKillmans as well? No, no. they won't be, because no. they're your mum and dad, so <laughs> I think <it's> <laughs> right. OK, right, well, let's see if, if, Ma if Michael McKillman can help you <laughs> take this home to Manchester. Have a look at this, Audrey. Yeah, look at this, Audrey. It's a funky two-seater buggy. This XL 150cc buggy is as cool as it is powerful. Featuring bucket seats with secure three-point harness, you'll be the envy of your mates. And what a groovy way to go on or off-road. We're going to play a game called One Right Price. It's called One Right Price because we have three prices there. There's £2,200, £2,700 and £3,200. You pick out the right price, that bug is yours. What do you think it is, Audrey? What do they say? What do they say? What do they say? Go for two seven. Two seven. OK, she says £2,700. If that buggy has got a tick under there, on the 2.7, you're taking that back. Is there a tick there, Amanda? Is it? No, there's a cross. What is it? What are we looking at, Amanda? Is it the 3.2? No, it's not. It must be £2,200. 
I think it, it must be. Oh. Yes, it is. Sorry about that, look. But we're going to see you now. Come with me on the showcase showdown. Let's go. I'm sorry, darling. Well done. Welcome to Showcase Showdown, everyone. This is the famous wheel. Whoever gets the closest to 100 or either one spin or a combination of two goes through to Showcase at the end. If you do get 100, there's a chance of going for a car. In your own time, Audrey, you're up first, darling. Give it a good hard spin. It's got to go all the way round, at least once. Grab it from the side, these blue bits. Come on, Audrey. All the way down, darling. That's it. Good enough. You stand there, darling. Well done, all. It's going all the way round. Where's it going to end up? Five, Aldi. What do you want to do? Stick or spin again? Spin again. Spin again. You don't want anything above a 75. Nothing above a 75, Aldi. Well done, love. Come here, darling. OK, you've got 25. 25. 25. 25. Oh, is that? 55. You're still in, Aldi, with 55. Go with the man that you look after, mate. 55 to beat, Joe. You know what I'm love? 55 to beat. Good ass spin. All the way down, love. That's it. 55 to beat there, Joe. Come round here, darling. 55 to beat. 55 to beat. Where's this going to go? 55. You've got a 65. That's a 65. You're in. Do you want to stick on that or spin again? You're in the lead at the moment with 65. So, sticking. OK, sorry, Aldi. That means that Joe's in the lead there. 65 to beat, Mandy. 65 from Joe. Come on, time, Mandy. 65. We're going up and stand here. 65 to beat. 65, man, we've got to beat. There's a 65. There's a 60. Where's that going? 60. You've got, you've got to spin again. You've got to spin again. You've got a 60. You don't want to go above a 40. You don't want to above a 40. You've got a 60. Plus whatever comes up now. 60 plus. 60 plus. Oh, I'm sorry, Mandy. That's a bus, darling. I'm sorry, darling. Big round of applause for Mandy. Sorry, old good Joe. That means you're in. Come stand here, darling. You all right? You ready for this? I'm ready. Let's come see your showcase. Come with me, darling. Well done. Well done, Joe. You all right? Come here, Joe. Come on, darling. You've got to go to get a picture of showcase, Joe. This is a range finder in front of us here, Joe. As you can see, the numbers are flashing up there. Some low numbers, some high numbers, some mid-range numbers. What I want you to do in your own time, hit the red button, try and stop it on the highest figure you can to give you the best chance of winning today's showcase. In your own time, Joe, just hit the button, darling. Follow it if you can. 2,000, that's OK, it's a good range. That means you can be as much as £2,000 under, but not one penny over. What's going to happen there, Joe? We're going to show you all the prizes up on the big screen in front of you. Look at it all, take it all in, give every prize you see a price in your head. Mm -hmm. Add it all up at the end of the showcase, and we'll ask you for a figure. And that figure is going to represent the entire showcase. Showcase. And your showcase begins with this. It's a GPS navigator. With a simple touchscreen interface, automatic route calculation, and turn-by-turn voice-prompted direction feature, you'll never get lost again. And this fantastic games collection will keep you busy for hours. How about starting with this tool table? This sturdy table comes complete with tool... Next, enjoy the fast action fun on this air hockey table. And when you've had enough, how about a game of football on your very own game machine? Yes, let the fun begin. And when you need a break from all the action, you could be off with the whole family for 14 nights to Spain's Costa Dorada. Long, wide beaches, soft sands, restaurants, shops and bars, along with a three-day pass to the Port Aventura theme park. And we'll even throw in £1,000 spending money. What a holiday! And when you get back from Spain, you could be driving home to Bolton in this Citroen Zara Picasso. This sporty 1.650. Be the envy of all your friends in this nifty number. And all of these stupendous prizes could be yours, Joe, if the price is right. There's a lot there. There's a GPS system, there's the games, there's the two weeks, people from Pure, a thousand pound cash plus the car. So add it up. What do you think it's all worth? Got any ideas? Do you want to ask Mick? Mick got any ideas? <laughs> the 
what's your show, what's your show, Joe? 17 and a half, something like that. 17 and a half? Yeah. Are you going with it? Are you going with 17 and a half? I'm going with that. 17 and a half. 17 and a half, you want 17 and a half? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay, 17 and a half thousand pound is your bid. Is that what Mick said? Yeah. What did Mick say? <laughs> I don't know. 14, I think. Right, okay, well, you've gone against whatever Mick, whatever it was he said, you're getting married next week, you've gone 17 and a half thousand pounds. Your range, your range is two thousand pounds. You're not looking there, are you? No. no okay. <laughs> your range is two thousand pounds. You've gone in at seventeen thousand five hundred pounds. You can be under by as much as two thousand pounds, but you can't be one penny over. Joe, the actual price of your showcase is. <laughs> <laughs> Quit out. I'm sorry, Joe. You was just out. I'm sorry, darling. I'm sorry. Joe's just missed out on the showcase. She was nearly there, 300 quid out. But she has one more than £1,000 of stuff towards her wedding next week. And Mandy, the training midwife, won a two and a half thousand pound motorbike. It's been a good day. Could have been better, but, you know, she nearly got there. See you again. I love you. Bye. Sorry, darling. challenge and what will you find every weekday at five there's a light on jim's here for bullseye